friends. What we have here is a somewhat rare A500, Amiga 500 memory expansion, you know, just the trapdoor memory expansion. Came with real-time clock. Um, it's got the uh, 512, <coughs> excuse me, of RAM. And we're gonna put a CR2032 uh, battery holder in it, plus a diode, of course, to prevent, <laughs> to prevent the uh, non-rechargeable battery from getting recharged by the Amiga. And this is, uh, yeah, this is a Spirit, you know, Spirit, I think there was a Spirit Technologies or something like that. So anyway, let's take a closer look at it. I'm going to put it in my PCB holder. So here's a closer look of it, um, closer look at it. The unusual part that I see is, is perhaps the person's name is unusual. Um, and the fact that it's copyrighted to an individual, well, at least I think that's an individual, um, Breck Ricketts, uh, seems like perhaps an unfortunate last name. I think that's a disease of some kind, isn't it? So we can see that the uh, battery is quite corroded, although I don't think it's really spread that far. The A501s I've seen much worse. There's some rust or something on that end, but it really hasn't reached even the motherboard. This looks like the positive side with the two contacts on it because there's a trace. There's a trace going from those two contacts into a resistor. And, uh, and on this side, it's probably just connected to the ground plane. I don't believe there is a ground plane on this side. It's funny, I don't see one on this side either, but I guess I can desolder it and, uh, and take a closer look at it. What's very, very nice, and what I've not seen in other memory expansions, is this has sockets in it. And do I see a date code on here? This says 1987 copyright. The chips, I think it's the 36th week of 1986. I think that's what that says. I don't know if I can... Get you in close. Yeah, 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 you can see that. So right here, that's uh, 1986. The number is 8636. So 1986, the 36th week. So it's a fairly um, early memory expansion, or at least the chips were. It's got a copyright of 1987. So I don't believe they would have sold it before then. We have a through hole resistor over here, I believe I running to the positive side. What we'd want to do is we'd want no energy to be going this way from the motherboard. We will only want energy going this way. So that will tell us our orientation that we want the uh, diode in. You can remove the resistor because when you put a diode in line, there's a voltage drop created by the resistance of the diode itself. So probably going to be, I'm probably going to be able to swap that out with the, with the diode, actually, that resistor. Yeah, so <clears throat> I think what the situation is here is that this is a multi-layer, oh God, that's, that's kind of awful right there, that pad. This is a multi-layer board. This is at least three layers. They, they must have put, they probably did. They probably put a ground plane through the middle.
So what we can do is we can go ahead and put our um, our battery holder on there. So, wait, do I have that in backwards? I think I do. Because these watch batteries have a very large positive surface area. And that is, and it extends over the edge, so yeah, that's backwards. Right? Looks good. Now I haven't put the uh, the diode in there yet because what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the voltage drop across that resistor and compare it to the voltage drop that a diode would. Actually, I can compare it directly with the voltage drop of the diode. I'm going to need my desoldering iron again, I think, to get the resistor out. So, 2032 battery. Three point two volts, which is less than these, which are three point seven. So we're already kind of starting at a disadvantage, you might say. So we're gonna stick this in here. If I remember how to do this. Yeah, you push it this way. Now we're going to measure from the ground to this across this resistor and now we have it's still it's just slightly less it's 3.19 okay so here we have a diode and we are going to make sure we put it in the correct direction. And if you're not sure, you can test. So we're going to hang the diode off this, which is connected to the positive. And we're going to grab our multimeter. And put it on voltage. So we got switch. Got our 3.2 volts. Okay. And it's also here, 3.2. Okay, now what's it at the end of this diode? It's 3. See, so that's perfect. And actually, I have the diode in the right direction. See, I think the ring is the cathode. So it won't allow electrons to pass this way. And I can prove that to you. So just in a really easy way, way to know if, if you're not sure which direction to put the diode in. Maybe the markings are poor on it or something. Now when I test it, I should get nothing. See? I get nothing. Well, 0.05. So... Again, testing the uh, voltage on our 2032. Got this side going here, and then the ground is here. And we're at 2, 292, 291. So we're good. And that completes our modification of the uh, 
Breck Ricketts Spirit 1987 Amiga 500 slow memory expansion. Sorry for the glare and the noise. The noise is I'm always 3D printing something. So we didn't get any kind of error about not having a battery backed up clock. And this mouse doesn't work well, so that's going to be fun. I was just in a workbench 3.1 and it has a separate... There we go. Alright. You know, let me change things here. Oh, this is horrible. I need to fix this mouse! Anyway, so let's turn the computer off. I'm not going to make it watch the whole workbench loading thing. I'll bring you back when it's loaded up. What I was saying earlier is, is if there is no battery backed up clock found, it will say no battery backed up clock found. Um, it's kind of a warning or an alert, it's not really an error. But as long as there's a battery backed up, even if there's no battery, if, the, if it sees the RTC chip in there, it's not going to give you the error. Because it's attempting... Well, I don't know what it does in the startup sequence. Well, anyway, so... Uh, can't remember everything. So, utilities. It's now a couple minutes later. So... 3.46. Yep. So that completes this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends.